Uh, before talking about today's topic, I will first uh, discuss the geographical uh, limitation in term Asia, uh, in Asian so uh, Geographically, it is very clear that the land border of Asia is at the Ural and Caucasus Mountain in Russia, and the Bosphorus Strait uh, in Turkey and the Suez Isthmus in Egypt. And this area of Asia is usually divided into six units East, Southeast, South, North, Central, and West Asia. Uh, because we should re uh, really, on the own perspective of Asians, we will not use a European uh, terminology such as uh, uh, Middle East and the Far East but rather West Asia and East Asia. Uh, this map shows the place of today's topic. Uh, Hoi An in Central Vietnam, uh, Penang and Malacca in the Malay Peninsula and Singapore and its southern end. Uh, three typical old quotas or Laoche in Taiwan will be discussed today. That is Dinhua uh, Jie in Taipei, uh, Sanxia in Xinbei City, and uh, Lugan uh, in central Taiwan. Uh, the first case in Taiwan is Lugan, which is one of uh, the so called three old courts, uh, the symbolic building in this town. Uh, the former Gu family's mansion in the uh, left picture is well known. Uh, this uh, Victorian uh, Gothic style building was constructed in 1919 and uh, has recently become a, a museum. The old quarter of this town, uh, Chunshan Street, is located close to this mansion and can be seen in the right picture. Uh, most of the building in this street have similar structures, that is, uh, as a two-story house, which has a walkway and the front of the ground floor, as well as a town scenery, which is common in many uh, Taiwan uh, cities. Appearance of this uh, facade, such as three rectangular windows in the second floor on the left pictures, and some of them still show sign uh, sign of the Japanese period, the right picture uh, sign is for a queen named Momokawa. Now, we move to uh, Dehuajie in Taipei. Uh, today, a district is crowded every day by tourists, and many shops are selling Chinese traditional medicine and uh, dry marine products such as the one in the left picture. But some of them uh, have special facade decoration in the second floor and roof. Uh, that is a European Baroque style. Uh, such image like that in the right picture. Uh, Simpel City also has the old street in several areas. Among them, Min uh, Chuanjie in Sanxia is the most famous area. And this street was established in 1916. Almost all the buildings at each side were built with dark red bricks, and this area is very crowded by domestic tourists every weekend. In the early period, walkways were constructed with a brick arch, a building technique. On the outside, uh, there are three short span arches by a shop in the left picture. In the walkway at each border of the uh, shops, there is a single arch, such as the seen uh, in the right picture. While a large part of the buildings in the old street in Lugan or Dipaje are formed as two story houses. In Sanxia, one-story houses are more common. However, uh, the eaves of the one-story houses function as a roof of walkway, such as in the left picture. 
Uh, these story, two story houses also have a European Baroque style uh, influence decoration at the top of the their facade. This decoration is consistent with the Roman architecture from in the center and uh, long towers on each side, which are similar to the condition of buildings in Tifache, uh, Taipei. Uh, most of the old quarter or laoche in Taiwan were constructed during uh, the 1910s uh, to 20s. But during that same period, this kind of scenery was never found in Japan. Now, we will move to Singapore and Kenan in Malaysia. Uh, Singapore uh, started its uh, history as a British colony after 1819. The first port and township were formed at the mouth of the Singapore River, uh, called uh, Boat Key, shown in the left pictures. Uh, meanwhile, the history of Penang starts uh, slightly earlier than Singapore. Uh, that is a British colony formed in 1786. Penang was established in the what is now the downtown is named Georgetown. Uh, with the exception of its modern areas, in the downtown of Singapore, uh, we can see many structures and uh, two stories in hay, which are similar with the building on the uh, old stories in Taiwan. This kind of structure uh, usually called the shop house uh, in Singapore and Malaysia was used as a part of the convenience system in the shopping area of this port city uh, country during British colonial period. Uh, the basic style shop house was constructed uh, in this street. Here there are two-story houses with span, span roofs such as the Zhongxi in the Chinatown on the left picture. Uh, similar uh, shop houses uh, are also uh, found in the Little India area uh, in the right picture. It is also possible to see streets of three-story house, uh, houses with European bark style top decoration like those in Teohan, Teohan Road in the left picture. Moreover, uh, there are also four-story buildings which have a walkway uh, like in the right picture. Uh, this condition is quite similar with Taiwan. The 19th century, shop house originated as a terrace house with a veranda at each unit of the ground floor such as in the left pictures, this example at Lobune Lock in Singapore uh, displays a nice uh, coloring uh, for each facet and such decoration of its exterior has become as one of its typical uh, characteristics. Some of uh, these buildings are highly decorated uh, by paintings on the exterior. Uh, such as in the right picture. In Penang, uh, most of the houses of the Georgetown uh, downtown area were constructed as shop houses or had a terrace house style. Uh, the left picture uh, shows a typical scenery, uh, uh, the business area uh, and uh, more early style uh, terrace house also can be seen in the inside of the downtown area, uh, such as in the right picture. A certain portion of the veranda or walkways in the terrace house of Georgetown are uh, decorated with colorful blazer tiles on the exterior or floor. Uh, this kind of decoration started at the beginning of the 20th century as a modern style at, the, at that time. Now we can feel a uh, quite harmony with the old other elements of the house, although the color of the gray is very vivid. 
the exterior of the second floor on the early castle house was formed with a European influence elegant wooden lady and other similar elements seen in the left picture. A similar condition is seen in the used blazer tile. The blazer tiles in the right picture are Victorian industrial tiles or the Japanese copy of such a tile. These several motifs are from the terrace house found in Georgetown. Uh, usually, a shop house in Georgetown has a very narrow common facade of around 5 to 6 meters. However, uh, uh, they contain several wide roofs, a long interior, and a, a courtyard. Armenian Street in the left picture is one of the old streets which contains such shop houses. And a shop house here has a close history with modern Taiwan. Uh, this shop house was used as a base for Dr. Son Yat-sen's revolution party, as seen in the right picture. Now, we want to move to Maraca, an older and more historical port city than Penang. The old quarter of Maraca, first established in the uh, 15th century, uh, face, faces uh, the Maraca Strait, such as in the left picture. Uh, the Laksamana Street, an old street uh, which reaches uh, the Maraca here, contains elegant shop houses with Dutch-style white red coloring uh, seen in the right picture. While the left bank of the Maraca River was the site for government buildings uh, for a long time, the right bank was used as an area of economic activity by several ethnicities. Uh, much of the old architecture remains in this area. In Han Jube, or the Jonka Street, the downtown of this area, uh, we can see two-story shop houses such as in the left picture. Also, there is a two-story Baroque-like decorated house, which is similar with the one in Sanxia, Taiwan. Another large old terrace house is located at Tuntan Chen Lok Street, which lies near the area discussed in the last uh, slide. Uh, this building is now uh, used as a Pranakan Museum. Pranakan uh, means overseas Chinese in Mali or Indonesia, and this European style mansion was used by a rich Pranakan family in Malacca. A large part of the furniture and interior elements in this mansion, uh, which includes, includes a spiral uh, staircase uh, seen in the right picture, uh, used uh, European modern style for chrome around the beginning of the 20th century. Uh, in Tan, uh, Tun Tan Chen Lok Street, uh, there are a large number of 19th century uh, terrace houses uh, built side by side. Uh, most of the terrace houses in this street do not have a walkway in the front uh, entrance. Uh, on the ground floor, but only a veranda in each house, uh, such as uh, in the left picture. And among them, the oldest trestle houses have a different appearance. Uh, that is, the second floor is much more narrow uh, than the ground floor, seen in the right picture. This architecture uh, is thought to be uh, the earliest terraced house in Southeast Asia. Now, we will move to Hoya, a historical port city in central Vietnam. Uh, this city flourished as the largest international trade port in Vietnam during uh, the 17th and 18th century. 
and uh, is located slightly inland from the mouth of the Tubon River. Inside the city, at a, a small branch of this river, there is a famous uh, wooden, wooden bridge, it's a Japanese bridge, seen in the right picture. However, this rude bridge is not traditional uh, Japanese architecture. From the Japanese bridge, uh, Changu Street, uh, which has the oldest street and architecture in the uh, region uh, dating back to the 18th and 19th century, reaches the market in the east end. At the present time, Almost uh, all of the old architecture, which were once shops, shrines, or temples, now function as a souvenir shops or a restaurant for foreign tourists who are staying, who are busy in this world hated site. When Taiho Street, the next old street, has architecture which was built in the 19th century. It ran east-west at the south end of the uh, previous street. The scenery of this street is almost the same as with the other street. That is, there are a large number of foreign tourists walking, uh, walking there every day. During its long history, the overseas Chinese have, have been in the largest uh, segment of the inhabitants of this port city. Among the old houses in Korea, it is thought that the one-story houses, mainly located in Changu Street, are the oldest one in the uh, area, dating to the 18th century. This style of house has eaves at the uh, facade, but it is not wide uh, if compared with the terrace houses in Malacca. Still, uh, the span of their facade is longer than the zones in Malacca. In the uh, 19th century, a new style of houses were constructed in Hoya. That is the two-story houses of uh, Changu Street in the left picture. This style of house, house is also basically similar with the one-story houses of the 18th century in the edge of the second floor functioned as eaves of the ground floor. However, its width in, is only about one meter which is not enough to act as a walkway. Therefore, uh, we can conclude that Hoya did not contain many terrace houses or shop house houses such as those seen in Bali, Singapore or Taiwan. Also, a majority of the inhabitants, there were also overseas Chinese. In this Southeast Asian port city, in which the majority of people were uh, overseas Chinese, the terrace houses or shop houses found in Mali and Singapore cannot be seen by this condition. It is possible to think that the terrace house or shop house were not ordinary Chinese architecture. If that is the case, uh, where is the uh, homeland of this architecture? Among, uh, uh, according according uh, to Professor Fan Nansen's uh, uh, thinking, this style of architecture with a covered walkway was first constructed in London at around the beginning of the 19th century such as that seen in Legion's Street in the left picture. Later, uh, this influence uh, carried to the British colonies of India, such as was the case in Kolkata, seen in the light pictures. 
and later in, in, introduced in British Bali and Singapore. Finally, Japan constructed its copy of this style in Taiwan. As a supplement of information, I would finally like to explain a common use for the industrial blazer tile in modern Asia. Uh, the industrial blazer tile was first manufactured in the UK in the middle of the 19th century and was quickly introduced to the British colonies in Asia. But at the beginning of the 20th century, Japan succeeded in manufacturing its copy. After World War I, a large number of them were exported not only to Japanese colonies but also to China and Southeast Asia. Therefore, it is easy to see such Japanese copies of Victorian tile uh, decoration in many areas, as for example those in uh, the old street in Shenkun, Taiwan, uh, the old houses in Jinmen Island, and also the old house, houses in Hoya.